to take on the number three seed, Pete Weber. O'Neill from Levittown, Pennsylvania to start us off. Right away, he opens up with a ball change and still playing the center part of the lane. Boy, I'll tell you, the only thing missing on the resume of Bill O'Neill is that victory, that one win that still eludes him. And speaking of backswings. Yeah, here comes Pete Weber and his 34 Lumber Liquidator PBA Tour titles. The native of St. Anne, Missouri, P. D. W. Trademark shades on. He's just a couple years away from that senior tour as well. Maybe him and Walter Ray can start teaming up again out there. <laughs> Here's a little bit more on the son of the late, great Dick Weber. PDW, in his 30th year here on the PBA Tour, has won 34 tour titles. Being from St. Louis, he's an avid Cardinals and Rams fan. Also enjoys golf, hockey, baseball, and basketball. So both O'Neill and Weber drop the 10 pin to pick up a nine spare in the first frame and we want to remind you next sunday one eastern on espn it is the cheetah show and we're presenting it in a documentary type fashion take you behind the scenes through the whole tournament uh, where the guys are what they're doing in the downtime hearing from them after the match really a fascinating show you're going to want to watch as we begin the second and right there you can really see the difference between the right and left lane Pete Weber using two different bowling balls. Right, their left lane looks like it's got a bit more friction to it. The players are a little bit deeper on that lane. Nice result there. Good choice to start for Pete Weber. O'Neill leaves the four pin. Bill O'Neill playing both lanes fairly close. 22nd, almost the 23rd board on the left lane. 23 and a half board on the right lane. And he gets the same result on both lanes, a nine spare. O'Neill, a four-time first-team All-American in Michigan at Saginaw Valley State University. Three-time. Bowling Riders Association of America Collegiate Bowler of the Year. And you saw him take down Tommy Jones in match number one. Five seed trying to get all the way to the title match to take on Walter Ray Williams Jr. And that'll help. Almost 20 miles an hour. I think it's I think it's important to point out again that all the qualifying was done at Taylor Lanes. The TV show was then moved to Thunder Bowl. Even though they're putting down the same oil pattern, it's, it's being put down on two different surfaces. So the players do have to make adjustments coming into TV day. Weber's made an adjustment, and he did it early using two different balls. Two in a row for Weber, and here is PDW on his relationship with his late legendary dad. We had a nice rivalry on the on the bowling lane. I'm here to win, you're here to win, so give me your best shot. And I mean, that's the way we did everything. I mean, if we were playing a game of wiffle ball in the backyard, dad ain't gonna slack off on us. If we're down playing pool or ping pong, if we wanted to win, we had to win. Uh, so, I mean, he didn't let us win, he made us win. According to PDW, he was 28 and 2 versus his old man. Pretty good record against Dick Weber. Three in a row. 
for Weber now. So PDW up 21 on the real deal, Bill O'Neill. Can he maintain it? Match number two continues when we return to Detroit. Peterson here with you as we continue our coverage of match number two of the Motor City Open. While we are gone, O'Neill found his groove, a strike in the fourth, dropping the seven late, and then in the fifth, Boom, that made it three in a row for Pete Weber. Working on a three-bagger, looking for four. He would convert that. But then trouble in the sixth. Pocket split would result in his first open frame. Yep, not a couple good breaks for me right there. The king yeah. of sarcasm. Really bad breaks if you look at it. Pete Weber goes solid nine on a three-bagger, follows up with a four-nine split. Well, Bill O'Neill gets up and puts a couple of strikes together. Bottom of the sixth, O'Neill up 13. Four bagger. I'm sorry, Rob, what, what did you say? Four bagger? Okay, right, good that's call. good, right? Good call. Hey, let's take a look at how Bill O'Neill's playing the lanes here. About the 24th board at the Arrows. Ball speed at around 19 and a half miles an hour. You can see what kind of angle he's playing. Better have some hand to get it back playing those lines there. Now they're calling Yahtzee. I love Where do they get it. this I love stuff it. from? I've brainwashed these people. They're fantastic. I love Detroit. So a 10 pin shy of Yahtzee. O'Neill <laughs> starting to spread his wings a little bit here and pull away from the legend PDW. And he's taken advantage of some bad breaks by Pete Weber. Come on. Come on. Let's see if he can rebound from the last two shots where he went solid nine, pocket four nine on a three bagger. He's not out of this match. He still has the seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth to get back if he strikes out. He could shoot 246. This is the second time in his 30-year career he made the TV show in the first tournament of the year. So he has to be upbeat that he's getting off to a good start, although he's struggling right now. Oh, whoa. And here is PDW on his TV troubles last season. Well, yes, I, I have had problems bowling on TV lately. In the